Uh, okay. Chat says, are you a fan of the latest C standards? Uh, I love it. The latest C standards are amazing. Let me go, uh, C23. Oh my god. I can talk for hours about C23. Okay. C23 is amazing. Um, not many things get added because it's designed by committee and designed by committee fucking sucks. But, uh, I mean, at least we have designed by committee for C because it's, it's, uh, it, it's, uh, it's important. I mean, big decisions are being made here. So there's not a lot, but what they have here is amazing. Uh, currently I can't, I can't wait to start writing C23. Currently, most of the features of C23 have not been implemented in the newest compilers. Things like, uh, things like, um, uh, type equivalents for like, unions and structs like in a macro so you can do generics now you can do generics uh type generics and c now um there's also there's also things they haven't implemented const expert they haven't implemented right now uh which i really want them to implement um i think gcc implements a bit clang doesn't gcc gcc implements all the stuff super early uh okay let me get to all the things that i love all right there's all the things that i love uh, all these normal things, old style function declarations and definitions, uh, represent representations for signed integers other than two's complement. Okay, so all integers, all signed integers in C are now two's complement. Now that's a double edged sword because for one, you get no undefined behavior on on signed integers, uh, and and their multiplications and stuff. But other than but because when you remove that undefined behavior, you remove the ability for optimizations. So now like. Uh, it'll behave more like Rust integer semantics. Uh, I mean, it's double-edged sword. I, I think this is a nice feature. I don't mind it. Uh, yeah, all these things. Static assert becomes a keyword. Thread local becomes a keyword. That's amazing. Um, uh, what else? Yeah, true, true, and false and bool. They all become keywords. Right now, they're not. They're not macros anymore. Uh, ma uh, null pointer becomes null pointer becomes something in the standard we don't we don't use uh we don't get nulls we can't you don't get uh these weird uh integer casts integer cast a void pointer or integer cast of pointers now we can use null pointer which is great oh yeah single argument static assert is amazing as well c++ has that it wasn't the c standard till now uh what else uh stuff for working with bits so std bit is really nice uh, i haven't got to the features that i really love uh, mem said explicit it was a really nice thing to have uh what is what is like the most amazing yeah, const const expert uh where's const expert you can now have const expert and c which means uh let me let me show you an example uh god boss let me show you a good example this, this just trips up this trips up people uh all the time let me go to c okay Hold on. The most annoying thing in the world is Dark Reader. Okay, great. Okay, let me show you an example. Let's say you have a an array. So let's say let's say you have this is what people would usually do. You have int size equals twenty. Okay, fine. Int size equals twenty, and you have your int array with size. This is a this is a variadic array. You see all the code that got generated. That that's because uh this is a variadic array. Um, well not vari. You mean like a a variadic array? A, 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 oh, fuck, what's what's it called? A uh, an array that doesn't have a size bound at compile time, but it looks like it does, right? It looks like it does. Um, in C never C didn't really have a way to represent real constants, right? If you wanted to do, if you wanted to do what I'm trying to do right now, you have to do define size 20, right? And look at all this code disappear, right? I think it turns into a no-op. Yeah, it turns into a no-op. I mean, why don't we have this in C? But we now finally do, right? We now can define constants as constants. I think it's just int uh, const expert int a uh, size if it's 20. And I think I need to put on uh, C2x. Look at that. I mean, it's just like a, it's just like a, it's just like the define. 
it's just like the fine. That's amazing. So you can have uh, you can have consts, you can have const expert. And another thing that I love about uh, I think I wrote about this. Uh, where's C? Uh, C twenty three. This is it. I'm really happy N3003 made it. This is the most, uh, this is one of my favorite things. And this this introduces things like uh, type generics in C. So let's say you want to define a generic container. So you can define a macro, vec t equals struct vec this and this, right? I mean, makes sense. Uh, you can define this, vec push and all these things. But what's the most important? What's the most important thing is that here you can you can write this as well. Um, here, so yeah, so you can call. Uh, so you can define vec int x equals this or uh, this in C two x. Uh, but it's a good it's a GNU uh, extension already that it typed an initializer. And then when you do this, you can do address of address of x. But pre C two x, you'd need to. Oh, fuck, I'm so bright. Pre C2X, you'd need to type def it to make the pointers compatible. Now, vec int pointer and another vec int pointer, they're compatible now. I don't think it, I don't think, uh, uh, here, let me, let me write an actual example because I don't think uh, it might go over people's heads. I'm not explaining it very well. All right, let's write an option type. Option T, go struct, option T. Uh, T is okay, and a bool error. Okay. And then we have a function that returns an option. Uh, option print. Uh, func. Okay, I'll just return nothing for now. Oh, wait. Uh... Yeah, so incompatible types from returning option int, but struct option int was re expected. So struct, yeah. These are incompatible. I mean, it should be compatible. It is currently incompatible in the current C standard. Currently incompatible in the current C standard. In C23, they're going... Oh my fucking god, so bright. In the C23, they're going to implement... Uh, where is it? I think it's like M33. It's somewhere here. I think it's... Uh, not type inference and object definitions. It's one of these things. So, uh, oh, it's uh, n two three two n three eight. Anyway, it's somewhere here. It's somewhere here. This allows generic data structures and compatible types when you're without a type def. So I don't need to type def option t. Anyway, long tangent. Uh, this is what I love in short. Okay. Embed, you can do you can do embed in C with hash embed. Uh, you can now do generic, you can do type generic containers in C right now. Bool, bool, true and false are now keywords. Standard, uh, like static assert is a keyword. Thread local is a keyword. Um, they also added these things, uh, these proper these proper attributes. So deprecated, fall through, maybe unused, no discard, no return. These things from C, uh, from C++, they got added. Null pointer got added. I mean, uh, all of these things uh, are like great. I mean, especially all the designated initializer changes. Anyway, I love C23 and I can't wait to use it. But uh, GCC has an unfinished implementation and Clang has an unfinished implementation. And I can't wait to use constexpr as well.